<clears throat> G'day, Nick Bowditch here. Today I want to talk about feedback and how if you don't want it, you shouldn't ask for it. Uh, so, a bit of backstory. Um, I've just recently finished, finally finished, um, my third book, Still Snowflakes. It's about the millennial generation, about generational differences, and about how I believe uh, my children's generation um, will be the best adults ever made and for, for all sorts of different reasons and even though they're much maligned by, by different people about being snowflakes is the name of the title um, and being precious and being too offendable and all that sort of stuff um, how, how I think their ability to love and express love and forgive and feel and all those things that we weren't allowed to do um, will actually create really really great humans Anyway, that's the backstory. Um, so I wrote the book, I finished it, and I sent it to um, 100 people who are on my list, on my database. Now, they're the people who open my, most of my stuff. They're the people who are the most engaged people with my stuff. So I, I guess I was thinking, I, I, I guess I wanted some um, gratification, right? I wanted, I wanted feedback, but I wanted to send them to what I thought would be um, a... a, a not a hostile crowd, right? People who were kind of liking what I do and stuff like that. Anyway, it's been really interesting exercise for me because I've had, of the 100 people I sent it to, I've had 57 people send something back, some feedback back, right? So I had to take a deep breath because, you know, sometimes I, I, I want everyone to love me and I want everyone to love what I do. And so, you know, it's been a bit hard. And look, the majority of the feedback was really positive. Um, none of the feedback, pretty much none of the feedback, has been, your writing sucks. But a lot of the feedback has been, I 100% disagree with you, uh, you know, this is, you know, not, not people who are, are on board with, with my, what I, not my writing, but what I've written about, the, the stance that I've taken, the side that I've taken, I guess. Um, including some rippers. <laughs> so there's been some, I've just, I've got them here just to the side of the screen because I didn't want to uh, misquote anybody, but I had a few, and, and these, these are the negative, sort of, not the negative, but these are the people who don't necessarily agree with what I've written. Um, people like you are why young people are the way they are. People like me, wow. Um, what a bunch of virtue signaling crap. That's a good one. The ravings of a left hard loony, God help us. Oh, it's fair. Uh, and I'm so sick of hearing from offended young people. You should be grateful for what you have and what we have given you. I don't know who we is. And I don't know that young people aren't grateful. They just want um, to protect the planet. They just want to be able to express themselves. Whatever. Look, I'm not going to get into an argument. The, the, the basis of this video really is how grateful I am for that feedback, for all the feedback, good and bad. If I didn't want it, then I shouldn't have asked for it, right? And, and feedback is a gift. One of my mentors told me that and I've never ever forgotten it. Feedback is a gift. Sometimes you just have to put, put your big boy pants on and, and, and get ready for it um, because it's not always gonna be what you want it to be, you know? And, and I don't want a bunch of yes men around me telling, my, telling me my work is great if it's not. Not that anyone reflected that my writing was poor, just that the side that I've taken and my stance is not theirs. Which is great too, you know, it really when I think about it. So um, I've decided since it's such a seems to be such a polarizing topic and book now that I've spent two years writing it. Um, I, I've put a sample uh, of the first chapter on, on the website, um, which you can have for free. Uh, and see whether it's for you or not before, if you wanted to buy it or not. At the moment, it's only available in the ebook version, right? So if you go to nickbowditch.com.au, if you scroll down that front page, you should see the books and you click on Steel Snowflakes and click on the download the free chapter if you want and then buy it if you want also. If you want some um, virtual signaling crap of your own. Uh, so uh, yeah, thanks to everybody who, who got back to me, the 57 people who sent it back to me, I'm stoked uh, that so many people were engaged enough to read it. Ironically enough, some of the people who've given me the negative feedback or stuff that, I, that 
you know, didn't just tell me how great it was, um, seems to have read the whole thing. So that's really nice that somebody was uh, disagreeing but engaged enough to, to stay on and, and, and then tell me what to think. It's pretty great. I'm pretty grateful for that, if I'm honest. So yeah, if you want to check it out, just go to my website, scroll down, find, uh, find the Steel Snowflakes book and then click on it. Or you can go to my website, nickbowdish.com.au, click on the shop and then get your copy there. Thanks so much for writing. Remember, if you do not want feedback, do not ask for it. Feedback is a gift. I must remember this. <laughs> See ya.